Good morning. Uh, today we're looking at Matthew chapter 18, verse 3, which reads, And he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Now, people often get confused and think that this verse is God asking us to be childish and immature and never grow up in faith and uh, never serve in the church. But the Bible doesn't let us get away with that interpretation. Now, later on, we have in 1 Corinthians 14, 20, Christians are told not to think in a childish way. Matthew 10, verse 6 says that we need to be as wise as serpents and as innocent as doves when we are dealing with people in the world. And the Bible always talks about a maturing and a, a growing up and a uh, not being moved around by the winds of doctrine and ideas. So what is this all about? In what way are we to become like little children? What Jesus is talking about is dependence, about letting our pride go and realizing our need of him. Now, anyone who's had a baby or has a toddler at home will know that of all the species, only a human child has a, is utterly dependent on their parents for everything, for food, security, for a roof over their head, for clothes. And in Liberia, we had malnourished children coming to our hospital who were utterly dependent on God's provision for the hospital, for themselves and for their family. And they knew they needed help. So they sat at the feet of Jesus. Now in the verse before, the disciples have asked, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus' answer is surprising. He says, whoever takes the lowly position of a child is the greatest in the kingdom. Whoever recognizes their need of Christ is the greatest. Now children in their society at that time were treated with very little value. They were their possess parents' possessions. They didn't have a lot of rights of their own like they do today. Yet Jesus welcomes them and treasures them and tells people to stop moving them out the way. And now if Jesus treasuring and welcoming people who others have not valued seems familiar, it's because it's a theme of his time on earth. We have this beatitude, blessed are the meek, and meekness means a humbleness of spirit. Now in Ephesians 4, 1 to 2, Paul describes this meek living as living a life worthy of the calling of God. And the Beatitude goes on to say that the meek will inherit the earth. Now this sounds very upside down, we're not used to that. But God has never been very interested in our pride or our own ability to manage ourselves. He doesn't like our pride and he wants us to move away from it in the way that we think. And the whole gospel message goes against our pride and it says that we need Jesus, that we cannot live without him. We cannot make it on our own. And we get to rely on him to save us, to trust in his death on the cross and his resurrection to give us true life. Now, some people have said that Christianity is a crutch, like we're just hobbling along, leaning on Jesus. And I would say actually more than that, I'd say Jesus is a life support machine. We're not gonna survive without him. And yet he is the one who carries us to the Father, where we can be God's children. And he is the most wonderful father to his children. He's loved us before time began. And in Jesus Christ, he's given us all the life that we could desire. So when we think of children looking up to their mothers and fathers to provide and reaching up to be picked up in the way that they do when they've uh, hurt themselves, we should look up to our heavenly father who has given us Jesus. Now verse 10 of chapter 18 says, do not despise one of these little ones, for their angels in heaven always see the face of my father. There is a direct line between the childlike trust and a closeness to God. And this verse calls us to put aside our pride and to come in childlike humility, knowing that we need Jesus to take us to the Father. Amen.